Amazon is giving a raise to its hourly employees. The company said that more than half a million workers would see pay increases, somewhere between 50 cents and $3 an hour. Amazon already offers a starting wage of $15 an hour, and it employs about 950,000 people in the United States. They've been hiring more people at a really rapid clip. Just about every quarter, there's huge increases in the number of employees they have. That company is due to report quarterly results today after the closing bell. But, guys, Walmart is the biggest private employer outside the federal government. I think they have something like 1.2 million employees, although that number could have climbed up over time. But it's been amazing to me to watch the numbers at Amazon and see how quickly they've been empl adding employees, too. It's, it's, I mean, it's just a record pace. Um, we've got another story that I, I don't know. I've been fascinated by. I was on the phone talking to a number of people about this yesterday. Verizon now exploring a sale of assets, including Yahoo and AOL. Now, the Wall Street Journal is reporting that the telecom giant is looking to exit uh, what has turned out to be an expensive and unsuccessful bet on digital media. The report says the assets could be worth four to five billion dollars. Verizon acquired AOL in 2015. Of course, it acquired Yahoo. You'll remember in 2017, paying more than nine billion dollars for. The pair of them, they were run by Tim Armstrong at the time, had already sold the Tumblr blogging platform and HuffPost news division. Um, a couple of private equity uh, suitors are said to be looking at that, including Apollo and potentially others. Curious to see if any strategics uh, take a look. I still think, actually, Yahoo Finance uh, has uh, some, some value, but there's some real questions about what the rest of it is worth. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.